So in this way, just uh, supplicate with the single-pointed mind and the heartfelt uh, devotion. So today is uh, the 15th of uh, the sixth month of lunar calendar, uh, which is a special day. So for these uh, special days, and that uh, if one just do all those uh, supplication prayer, uh, it is uh, uh, much more beneficial, and one can receive the blessings. <laughs> So um, for the special occasions, then uh, within our just body, the channels and vital energy and essential drops, uh, somehow that uh, they are more open, and uh, in that way, you know, one could to uh, enter into the path more uh, clearly. So the externally, uh, the dead, uh, that a certain kind of condition, uh, and uh, like a, uh, auspicious days, like a 10th and 15th and 25th, and uh, similar like that, uh, within those days, uh, there are also the, some um, special uh, development within one's channels, vital energy, and essential drop in this way. And uh, also, like uh, according to the lunar calendar, the first month and then the fourth month, which is considered as a uh, multiple month, as a whatever that uh, uh, practice and uh, virtuous activities we do, it multiply and uh, also there are certain kind of uh, interdependence nature that uh, within our body also there are the uh, special uh, development of you know channels and vital energy and so forth. <laughs> So that uh, somehow, whatever it is uh, external, it is similar with the, our, you know, internal beings. So based on those, you know, occasions, and then uh, there are uh, that uh, special occasions within our channel, vital energy, essential drop. According to that, if we do the practices, then uh, there are also uh, that uh, possibility of having better signs and also that one could have the uh, better realizations. So that uh, this our internal um, body, uh, that uh, where there is the channels and vital energy and essential drop, uh, depending upon those uh, conditions, when uh, according to that, if one do the practices, then there is the possibility that uh, the experiences and then the sense of realization also can be developed. So that uh, it is said, uh, what is there in the external uh, world, it is uh, similar with the internal being.
So that uh, uh, visualizing that uh, the glorious uh, Guru uh, just uh, dissolves into yourself and then uh, yours uh, just a uh, body speech mind and Guru's body speech mind just mingle together or just become non dual and then uh, without uh, fabricating anything and try to just uh, rest in the absolute nature of mind. Oh, 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 oh. 
So in this way, every time carry through the Guru Yoga practice, and then if one uh, continue to do the Dharma practice, and uh, that way one get uh, familiar with the practice, then slowly uh, one will not feel any kind of difficulty. So, uh, of course, we don't have to uh, expect for some kind of uh, just uh, experience or some sort of sign that uh, even though there may be, as one do the practice, there may be some sign or kind of experience of blissful clarity or no thoughts, um, but uh, no, one don't have to be kind of, you know, rejecting or accepting, just let it be in its way, and then still try to continue the practice. So, as one continue to do the uh, proper practice, then uh, just, uh, it doesn't really matter whether we have any kind of, you know, sign or not. The actual purpose is that the practice could become uh, something effective for kind of, you know, actual uh, result. So if we have any kind of sign, then uh, maybe just, uh, you know, one may uh, have a big mouth just saying, oh, I have this kind of sign, that kind of sign, and so forth. And in that way, uh, it will just harm for one's, you know, practice. It doesn't really benefit anything. So when one's uh, afflictive emotions are kind of pacifying and then uh, one's mind naturally feels more peaceful, so then that is the actual, you know, sign and the actual result. So, like before, that Karma Chakma Rinpoche, that for almost like uh, six, seven years, you know, just, uh, he's, he, he traveled around uh, just uh, giving teachings and benefiting other beings. And then uh, one time he came to a place uh, in Gongjo, which is called Thirong. So, 
So then uh, when he got there, then uh, one just uh, a kind of elderly person that uh, he requested to come to Rinpoche just saying, uh, well, you know, I think uh, you are a good uh, Lama master, so you should really do perform some kind of, you know, uh, sign of miracle of your accomplishment. Uh, because uh, before that uh, Karmapa, that uh, Pakshi, he, you know, also arrived uh, there and then he also did uh, lots of, you know, miracle performance and that way lots of people were just uh, kind of, you know, devoted and uh, gathered many people. Then uh, Chama Rinpoche just uh, and gave him a text that which is uh, composed by himself. So he said that uh, those who can just smash the stone and then uh, making notes on the irons and that you could fly in the skies, uh, that, uh, you know, those who do uh, kind of spirit, you know, tibrang, and they can also have such kind of miracles. And then about the clear points that uh, certain kind of birds and uh, just uh, uh, ravens and uh, so forth, uh, many of them also have uh, certain clear points. So in that way, he uh, expressed uh, many other things, and then at the same time, he said, you know, I, Karma Changme, that they have a very pure vow, and that is my uh, uh, sign of uh, accomplishment and uh, miracle. So in that way, just uh, one should to have everything, you know, pure in nature, pure conduct, and then uh, just uh, not to have wrong views. In a way, mostly wrong views are kind of uh, just uh, created uh, when one has so much conceptual thought. So one should not have all sorts of, you know, unnecessary thoughts. Mm -hmm.